The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Broadcasting live from the epicenter of the American liberal media complex, complex. New York City. Blinding you with his razor-sharp acumen. Hey, everybody, it is John Gibson. Sarah in Enfield, Connecticut. Hi, John. Hi, Sarah. I, I really don't think he knows what he's doing, and if he does know what he's doing with the economy, that's even scarier. Look, I, I, I mean, this is, as Reverend Wright said, this is the chickens are coming home to roost. I, you know, he there was no evidence... And, and 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 liberals are starting to um, to talk about this now. This this piece over the weekend that's got all the liberals chatting. What's the guy's name? Weston, Drew Weston. He he acknowledged in the piece. You know, maybe we should have looked at this guy a little closer. Somebody who didn't have any experience at all. Somebody who certainly had no business experience, no executive experience. Who voted present instead of yes or no whenever he got the chance. Who was, you know, managed to go through twelve years of school and be a professor and never have written anything anybody can read except his memoir. And you know, maybe we should have looked a little closer at this guy. Yeah. Maybe you should have. I miss Ronnie Reagan. Well, who doesn't? But he means what's he'd be like hundred and five now, right? Um Angry Rich misses him, I know that. Don't sass me, boy. Uh, Gary in California. Hey, John. Hey, Gary. Remember we talked a couple weeks ago? Uh, not exactly, but go I'm ahead. The, I'm, the I'm the crazy birther that you were ridiculing. You couldn't answer my question. Oh, I see. Okay. Do you remember that, John? Uh, yeah, there's so many of you, Gary. Well, you remember because we had you out on the Internet, you know? Uh, oh, you had me on the Internet? Yeah, your clip was all over the internet. You, you know, people were making fun of you because you couldn't answer the questions about. Oh, people Obama. making fun of me. Okay, I see. Okay. Right. Uh, right. Okay. Well, Obama is destroying the economy intentionally. You know that, John. Uh huh. What else do he, I know, Gary? Well, you know that Obama's not legitimate. He's not constitutionally qualified to be president under Article Two, natural born citizen. Uh, and you know that he has a forged. You know he has a forged birth certificate, John. Uh huh. Gee, there are a lot of things I know about o Obama, Gary. I, 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 well, I, I, you, well, my you head is crowded with him. I don't think I need you telling me I know other things. Well, John, you need to be honest with your listeners. I mean, you know, come on. You, you know, the forged birth certificate, he's a, he's a, he's a felon. How is, he doing, how is he tanking the economy on purpose? How is he doing that? All our socialist programs are designed to break the middle class. He's it's class warfare, angry rich. Come on, wake up. You guys know all this. You just I just think he's incompetent. Oh, he's not incompetent because he's got a Blackberry and he's taking orders from the powers to be. And that, that would be who? He was installed to destroy... Who are the powers that be? Yes. Who you know, are they? Are, look, you who know, are the powers that be? Let's get back on the birth certificate. No, yeah. no, no, no. Let's go. Let's stay on the powers that be. Who are they? The likes of George Soros, okay? Those are the kind of people that are running the country right now. Uh, are the Illuminati yeah. running the country, don't forget, too? Don't forget, birthersummit.org in March, okay? Washington, uh, D.C. Actually, I'm going to forget that right now. He was talking loco. Oh. Hey, Gary, goodbye. I wonder if you'll make it to the Internet again, John. It appears I will. Woo! Uh, seriously. I mean, seriously. We're being mocked by birthers, damn it. <laughs> Lester. Thank you very much. First sentence. <laughs> World Net Daily's correspondent, Dr. Jerome Corsi, <clears throat> reports that yeah, in the U.S. Uh, District uh, Court <clears throat> of the District of Columbia, a lawsuit has been filed by investigators in Ohio and Colorado concerning the president's Social Security number. Uh, second sentence. Birth certificate. He, he, he reports. No, no, I did not bring up the birth certificate. He reports that investigators Susan Daniels and John Sampson are asking why the president is using a social security number reserved for Connecticut applicants. 
And my question, did, oh, did oh, you that's know? Two sentences, uh, Lester. That, that, I, I, uh, two I, sentences. I, I, and yes. my question, <laughs> do you know of yes, any sir. record that the president ever had a mailing address in Connecticut? <laughs> Lester, I, uh, I, I, I am. I, 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 I know there are um, faithful readers of uh, of your publication that, despite including you. Uh, oh well, I don't know that I would necessarily mark myself down as uh, uh, an avid reader or a faithful reader. I I, I continue to be amazed, uh, Lester, that um, uh, two years after putting the president's birth certificate on the internet. Um, Without a hospital and without a doctor. Do you think the president doctor. was born here last week? Beg pardon? Do you think the president was born in the United States? I don't know. I'd love to get the real birth <laughs> okay. certificate, wouldn't you? Uh, I've seen the real birth certificate. I put it on the internet, and uh, I appreciate your uh, I appreciate your forthrightness on the uh, on the birth answer. Listen, thank, thank you. you. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.